Hi there, thanks for tuning in. We're going to be looking at the Visual Studio Code theme called Synthwave 84. Now, as you can see on screen, there is this sort of glow effect around various items within the theme. This is obviously different than a standard VS Code theme. And in the past, you had to create your own custom CSS and JavaScript. But with a recent update to the theme, you can now enable this without any extra work on your end. So I've opened up a random small little project here. As you can see, we have this sort of menu restaurant application here on the side, and we have some code here on the left. This is of course Dart, so you can get an idea of what it may look like for you. And if we go over to the extensions and we type in Synthwave, we should be able to see Synthwave 84 by Rob Owen. I'm currently gonna uninstall this and we'll restart Visual Studio Code. And of course, now we're back to the standard VS Code theme. We'll then type in Synthwave 84. And you'll see that initially when we click the install button and restart VS Code, we don't have that glow effect. So in order to get the glow effect, we have to hit Command P or Control P and select Enable Neon Dreams. When you hit that, it'll come up telling you to restart your VS Code. And this is because it's applying some custom CSS and JavaScript. One thing to keep in mind at this point is now your VS Code will technically be unsupported. This will say at the top, unsupported, and you may get also a dialog box at the bottom right hand of the screen saying that your installation is corrupt. At this stage, this is nothing to worry about. You can simply dismiss the dialog and you can even right click and do not show again on the little cog that will appear on the bottom right. This is simply because the extension is changing some CSS and JavaScript related to VS Code itself. And of course, then VS Code picks this up as being an unsupported extension and action. So this has been the Synthwave 84 theme by Rob Owen. It's not gonna be for everyone, especially the glow effect, but it's an interesting theme nonetheless. And I hope you find it useful if you decide to use it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.